In this video, we're going to cover how to properly thread your machine, make a bobbin, and then load it correctly. Threading your machine and making a good bobbin is probably one of the most important parts of sewing. If you've ever run into issues such as your thread and needle continuously breaking while sewing, or you end up with wads of thread underneath your fabric, or loud noises, that's usually an indication that your machine has been threaded incorrectly or the bobbin was not wound right. Another common problem is using the incorrect bobbin. You want to make sure that you use the bobbins that came with your machine, or if you buy extra, that you buy the correct size. Sometimes a bobbin will fit, but just because it fits does not mean it's the right bobbin. In order to work properly, a sewing machine needs thread in two places, up above and down in the bobbin area. The first thing we're going to do is wind our bobbin. Now, you'll notice that your bobbin has some little holes in it, and these are where we're going to place the thread through. You wanna make sure that you always start with a clean bobbin that has no thread on it. If you don't have an empty bobbin, then you're going to have to remove the thread from one of your bobbins so that you can start with a fresh bobbin. Again, you wanna make sure that you use the correct bobbins that came with your machine or replacements that are the right size. We're gonna begin by taking our spool of thread and placing it onto the spool pin. We take our thread and we're gonna wind it around the bobbin tension disc. And your machine will usually have a diagram up at the top to show you which way to go around it. Sometimes it's a figure eight. We're gonna take the end of our thread and we're gonna pass it up through the hole in the bobbin so that our thread is going through the middle of the bobbin. We're gonna place it onto the bobbin spool pin. Now, once I've placed it onto the bobbin spool pin, if I press the pedal, nothing's going to happen. I have to go ahead and engage the bobbin by pressing it over to the side. And I'm going to press on the presser foot pedal. go ahead and clip the thread and while this is spinning what I'm going to be watching for is that the thread is moving up and down on the bobbin and that it's filling tightly we don't want an hourglass shape and we don't want it to be loose if you notice that your bobbin is not filling correctly go ahead and stop remove the thread from the bobbin and begin again Once your bobbin's full, you can go ahead and clip your thread. We're going to disengage the bobbin winder by pushing it over to the side and remove the bobbin from the pin. Now we're ready to place the bobbin into the bobbin housing. For most machines, you want to make a letter P with your bobbin so it's coming off. Place it down into the bobbin housing. And on my machine, I have a diagram that shows I go up and around. There's a little thread cutter here. And then I place my cap back onto my machine. You'll want to refer to your owner's manual to see if you have to bring up your thread manually. Now to thread the machine. We're going to take our thread end, come back behind the thread guide, down into our tension disc. Then we're going to go up and behind the take-up lever. If you're having problems getting your thread around the take-up lever, turn your hand wheel towards you. You'll notice that the take-up lever moves up and down and you can get the thread behind there more easily. Now you usually have a thread guide behind your needle and now you're going to thread your needle. If you have an automatic needle threader, you can use that and I do have a separate video that's going to walk you through how to do that. If you don't have an automatic needle threader, you're going to take the end of your thread and you're just going to pass it through the eye of the needle. You want to go from the front to the back. Lift up your take-up take lever and you want to make sure that both tails of your thread are under the foot and to the back. Your machine is now properly threaded and ready to begin sewing. I know learning to thread your machine and make a bobbin 
is one of the most difficult things for new sewers to master. If you have any specific questions or a difficulty that I'm not covering, go ahead and leave me a message and let me know. If you're able to get a picture of the problem you're having, that's even better. Once you're able to properly thread your machine and make a good bobbin, you'll find that the majority of your problems that you had with sewing are resolved.